This simple hack I'm about to show you is gonna change your life. I'm about to show you how to respond to people's text messages instantly without actually having to respond, without having to be glued to your phone all the time. Someone sends you a text message, you don't wanna respond right away because you don't wanna have to be glued to your phone, but sometimes people expect a quick response. So here's how you can do an auto reply. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. It's super easy, it's a little known hack, and you're gonna love it. Let's get started. Okay, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today I'm going to show you this awesome hack. We're going to respond to text messages automatically, and it's built in natively to the iPhone. It's just not necessarily made for what I'm going to show you, so it's kind of a hack, which is kind of cool because people click on videos that say hack, so here's a hack for your iPhone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings, and we're going to use a little feature called do not disturb while driving okay so under your settings you click on do not disturb and what do not disturb while driving is it's a feature if you scroll down here to the bottom where it says auto reply that's what's going to get auto replied to people when they're driving so by default your message is going to say hey i can't talk right now i'm driving something to that effect but we're going to change it to say whatever we want it to say to say something like hey Sorry that I couldn't respond. I'm, I'm busy right now or whatever you want to say. Here's what I've made mine say. Hey, thanks for reaching out to me. I'm playing with my kids or kissing my wife. I'll call you later tonight or tomorrow, right? So when I want to, so when I get home for the night, the reason I figured out how to do this is because when I get home for the night, I want to give myself at least two hours where I don't touch my phone and I can just be present for my children and my wife. And um, so I figured out how to do this. So when I get home, I turn my phone to do not disturb while driving. And then if anyone texts me, they get this automatically. Okay. So you change that auto reply to what you want. So now you're ready to go. Now, if you turn on do not disturb while driving, they're going to automatically get that text. But there's one more step. You've got to turn on do not disturb while driving. And they don't always put that in the most convenient place. So what you want to do next is you want to come down here and go to control center. Everything that's included in the control center, all these apps right here, are what you see when you swipe up on your iPhone from the corner, okay? And, and on new iPhones, mine's an iPhone 8. On new iPhones, you might swipe down from the top right corner. I'm not sure. I swipe up from the bottom, okay? When I swipe up, this is the control center. And that little icon, that little car in the bottom right corner, that is do not disturb while driving, okay? So let's go back to the control center to make sure you got this. You want do not disturb while driving to show up in the included controls in your control center. So if yours isn't there, I'll take mine off for a second so you can see how to add it. You need to scroll down and look for do not disturb while driving right here. Do not disturb while driving. Click add. That adds it into your control center. Now when you swipe up or down, depending on your phone, you'll see this little dock and you'll see that little car. Now I push that car. Now my phone is on do not disturb while driving. You'll, you can tell I'm on do not disturb because top right corner, you'll text go out in, uh, in action. So send in a text here from my computer. Look at that, it auto responded. So that's it, I hope that was helpful. That's how you can send an auto reply message with your text messages on your phone. I use it all the time when I don't wanna be on my phone all the time, but I don't want people to think I'm ignoring them. So I set up an auto reply, put it on do not disturb while driving, and it sends it out. If you found that helpful, I've got another video on the screen here about how to send group messages on your iPhone, or I've got a video about how to create a group of contacts on your iPhone, which is really useful to manage contacts and kind of use it like a customer service, like a maintain contact with different people. Both of them are great videos. Check one of them out now and subscribe to Teach Mom How. And remember, you can learn how to do anything.